Hello, Marcel here and I will show you how to use Ornatrix for Maya to create character hair starting only with a set of Maya's NURBS curves. So I have this beautiful model here provided by Sergei Krikalev and this model has a scalp mesh detached from the main mesh and this is mostly just for convenience so we don't have to define the areas of the head where the hairs will be planted. It is kind of already defined for us by this scalp. So first thing I will do is go to my curve surfaces and just draw a couple of curves representing the hair. So I'm going to switch to my quad view and then in front viewport I'm just going to maybe draw a few hairs here. I will draw something here. This is not meant to be a photorealistic hairstyle or anything like this. This is just for demonstration purposes. So I will add some more hair here and let's call this a hairstyle. So I'll go back into my perspective view, maximize it and we will use these curves to create our initial haircut. So next step is to select my curves. I will select all of them using my selection tool. And then I will go to my Ornatrix shelf and use the quick hair button to create the initial hair stock. At first we have our curve shape at the bottom, which is the main input to the stock. And then we have the guides from curves node. And this basically takes these curves and creates guides from each one of them. And finally we have our guides shape. So right now the guides have no way of knowing that they're being planted onto the scalp and we need to give it this information. To do this I will select my guides from curves node and I will add a ground strands node on top of it. Ground strands node basically takes some guide as input and allows you to specify the distribution mesh onto which you are planning to generate in hairs. So I will just use the set distribution mesh button and select my scalp and then I will press ground strands button. So once I have done that, I can go and click my ground strands node and I can use the hair from guides shelf button and now we have our little haircut. I might alter some parameters like change the interpolation type to segment and just get different kind of results. And the beautiful part of this is that this is non-destructive. So this means that I can go back to my curves, which I still have, and then I can go and actually change the curve control vertices. And when I do that, the hairs will follow my changes. So this means that the curves are still driving the end result of my hair shape and I can even go in and add or remove more curves to this setup as I need to do this. So just as a last touch I might add my render settings modifier to give some uh, width to the hair and then I can continue working with my hair just like I would in any other situation. I hope this gives you a quick glimpse of the possibilities of using Ornatrix to generate hair directly from Maya's curves and have a parametric hair asset as a result. Thank you very much for watching.